Is it true that every state has its own power grid? No, in fact, almost none of them do. The North American energy grid is divided up into specific regions, but this is just for administrative purposes. From an engineering perspective, there's really just two, the Western interconnection and the Eastern. This map here illustrates it a little bit better. Unsurprisingly, the big exception to this rule is Texas, which since the beginning has insisted on having its own independent power grid. Now, if you spent any amount of time in Texas, this culturally makes sense. Texas is all about self-reliance. I mean, who wouldn't want to create their own electricity? Well, because it's a whole lot riskier. With almost every other product, having your own supply chain is a form of resilience. If you grow your own food, it's really hard to starve. If you don't have to import water from your neighbor, then you're never going to go thirsty. But pretty much every supply necessary for survival is able to be stored in one form or another. Water, food, and most material goods have a shelf life. You can put them in a warehouse and they'll still work in a few days, months, weeks, or even years but not electricity. All electricity has to be used the moment it's created, which means that the only way to account for risk is to spread out the supply over a larger and larger area. For example, if there's a hurricane in Florida, there's probably not gonna be, say, a flood in Missouri at the same time. You have more sources of which power station to draw from. But if there's a major natural disaster in Texas, the state isn't able to easily draw from the surrounding regions. This is why, with the exception of Texas and Hawaii, for obvious reasons, no state manages its own power system independently. All the major power regions cross state lines, and almost every state in the union both buys and sells power. 